And coming up next is a rivalry that will be barbaric and bloody. It's a barbed wire massacre between Crusher Ranger and Sigma Ranger. These two have been in rivalry for a very long time, and now they're ready to take it to a whole new level. Barbed wire will be surrounding the ring, and the only way to win is by pitfall or submission. Who will it be? The following contest is a barbed wire massacre set for football. There will be no countouts and no disqualifications, and absolutely no escaping the ring. The only way to win this match is via pitfall or submission. And this is it. Barbed wire massacre. And Crusher crushes Sigma twice, ladies and gentlemen. And now punches. And now submission move by Sigma. All the pressure on the neck. Punches again by Crusher. And now holy moly, super slam. And now elbows and punches. Holy moly. Oh my god, this is brutal, ladies and gentlemen. Sigma, holy moly, with a body slam. And now kicks. And now again, double body slam, ladies and gentlemen. On Crusher Ranger, it's over. <laughs> Easy Mini Sigma Ranger! What an unfortunate loss for Crusher Ranger as he was body slammed multiple times by Sigma Ranger, resulting in Sigma to pick up the victory for XRA. Well, if Crusher has one weakness, it's definitely barbed wire around the ring. Sigma chose to ignore the barbed wire and chose to decimate Crusher Ranger of ARS. I agree, but anyway, up next, it was a King Me card game gone wrong, and up next is a last one standing death match between two furious divas, Violet and Wave Ranger. This is a battle going haywire. After Wave and Violet were arguing over a King Me card game, both divas are now ready to tear each other apart. Which diva will be the last diva standing? We're about to find out. The following is a last one standing death match. There will be no disqualifications, no counters, no pitfalls, and no submission. The only way to win is to incapacitate your opponent until she cannot stand until the count of ten. And the diva still standing must grab her axe and chop her opponent's head off. And this is it, last one standing, and what's gonna happen? Wave Ranger! Holy moly, what a punch to the face! Three! And now Supreme Ranger is here to start the count, ladies and gentlemen. Two! And holy moly, a punch to the face. How sensitive was that? Three. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I see some movement. Three. Yes, I definitely see movement. Game sitting match. And that was a quick count. The match continues. And now what's going to happen? Holy moly, chair shot to the face. Three. Holy moly, that was brutal. Three. The big question is, is this the opening Violet Ranger needs? Three. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Wave Ranger isn't moving. Three. Six. Could Violet Ranger be the last one standing? I don't know. Seven. Ladies and gentlemen, we're close to ten. Eight. Two more, and it's over. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, is this it? Is this the end? Two. And it's over, ladies and gentlemen. Finish you. And now here we go. Violet Ranger with her axe. She is ready, and she does it. Holy moly. Easy, ready, Violet Ranger. And a truce with the one-up. When a violent battle we just saw, and all it took was a steel chair to hit a ranger, and the battle ends in a heart. That being said, congratulations to Violent Ranger, as a special thanks to Supreme Ranger for supervising. That is definitely a first in the ARX series, but anyway, Violet Ranger wins and life goes on. But coming up next, it's a street fight, and it's gonna be big. The following contest is a street fight. There are no counters and no disqualifications. The only way to win is by pitfall or submission.
And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Street fight. Wraith versus Iron. And Wraith going for a candlestick. And he attacked him with a candlestick. And now he's got a chair. Oh, chair shots. And now here comes a table. Throw a table. And now Wraith, he's got another candlestick. And only Molly want to smash with a candlestick. Easy, bitty. And if he lost this match, he was thinking of joining the ARX Council. But will he join ARX and sign against Nick Sorry? Well, guess what, ARX fans? We'll find out later in the series. But for now, let's take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're only three matches away from our three main events of tonight. So don't go away. We'll be back after these messages. As a member of the ARX Council, we try our best to be as non-violent as possible. But sometimes there are always idiots who try to attack us rangers. We try our best to be good role models to all the ARX fans. But too bad that Sare always ruins those special moments for us. But if there is one thing that Sare cannot take from us, it is victory. ARX fans, have a nice day. Action Rangers X Brawl Royal premieres Fall 2016 on Epilonia Pay-Per-View. Watch it for free on YouTube.com and we will see you all there. Can someone please send me a janitor to clean up this mess? Uh, yeah, I'm here to clean up the mess. Now that's a lot of security rangers. You think? Clean up this mess immediately. ARX fans, welcome back to Total Annihilation. You are all just in time to witness three battles before our main events of the evening. It's going to be hot, it's going to be flaming, and it's going to be at least 500 degrees Celsius. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Inferno match is back, and the match is next. The following is an Inferno match! There are no countouts, no disqualifications, no pitfalls, and no submission. The only way to win is to incapacitate your opponent and throw him in the burning flames below. And this is it, the Inferno match. And what the tar's gonna happen? Holy moly! Off the top row, Blaze! And now the flames have been lit! And now, Tail Whip! And Blaze dips him in the fire, and it's over! Easy with you, please, Larian. And we want to congratulate Blaze Flareon for burning Reggie Rock in this big Pokeverse finale. Yes, and coming up next we have a street fight between two rivals, Lord Gratis and Omega. After Eggman refused to make robots for Lord Gratis, Lord Gratis was enraged and was ordered to leave the office. And now, they're both going to go at it in a street fight. Big question now, who is going to win the street fight? No countouts and no disqualifications. Who will win? 